What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Matty J, SKR Day Scrub Killer here. Appreciate you guys showing so much love on my my wonderful rant video, as I like to call it, my troll video for uh, Infinity Ward. Um, some people were talking about, oh, uh, why are you complaining? It's not that I'm complaining to that degree, you guys. I'm just pointing out what it is that Infinity Ward did to the millions of people that are out there. Now, most of the people that you know that said something about it, uh, are you complaining and things of that nature? They don't play Call of Duty. <laughs> and don't voice your opinion on something that a company is doing if you don't even know anything about the company. Obviously, you know, if you don't play Call of Duty, then don't speak about Call of Duty. Now, like, if you played the game before, sure, go ahead and, you know, uh, give me your comments and thoughts, you know. But don't don't say something about Infinity Ward when, you know, you're playing Minecraft or something like that. Now, nothing against Minecraft. I don't have a problem with that. It's just don't try to rag on the creators of a video game if you don't know how the video game plays and, you, you know, and you're not interested in the game. But, um... I told you guys that I'd be bringing you a commentary uh, for for both of the new maps. This is the other map that came with the DLC map pack. This is Liberation, and I told you guys in one of my other videos, the video that I did, that this map is beyond the point of humongous. I had to cut this video down. This is a kill confirm match, and um, I think we barely finished the match. I think, and it literally took like it, it was ten minutes long. I had to cut it down so it wouldn't be as long for you guys. I know you guys want to see more of the action and stuff like that. But I left it a little bit long due to the fact that I want to show you guys how big and how ginormous of a map this is. Um, I'm using the MP7 Extended Max Suppressor, which is uh, my normal setup. But I am this is the, the same class that I used in my other video. Um, the reason for that, I'm using Blind Eye Assassin and um, Death Silence Pro. And like I said, the reason for that, this is uh, one of the earlier, this is pretty much when the maps uh, first came out. I think this is like maybe my third, maybe my second time playing this map. And I finally kind of got a just for what people were trying to do and how they were trying to play. A lot of people were using Marksman, so I put on Dead Silence so I can hear and move around the map and stuff. And um, my first thoughts really about this map is it has way too many damn trees. I don't mind trees, you know, I mean, it is Central Park and whatnot, and Central Park has a plethora of trees, you know, I don't have a problem with that, it's just, trees shouldn't be bulletproof, <laughs> that's the only thing I do not like about it, the trees and boxes and stuff in this game are bulletproof, and it's so annoying when you're using your kill streaks, like shooting your reaper, or shooting a predator missile and it hits a tree branch, like really, like I can't shoot, like the, tr the branch wouldn't break from a big gigantic rocket hitting the thing, but hey, you know, that's just how the game works. You know, that's how the game goes. Like I said, this isn't going to be a rant video. I'm not going to complain about how how Infinity Ward makes their games. But as you can see, I'm trying to play kind of cautiously. And the reason for that is because I'm not using Marksman, so I can't detect enemies from, uh, from you know, a longer distance. And due to the fact that I don't have a assault rifle, I'm using a submachine gun. So my most of my... Um, my gun battles are going to be close quarters. Um, as you can see, this is actually a really good uh, overhead view of the map and how big it is, you guys. I mean, that, and I mean, just look at the entire area. And the Reaper works very good on this map as long as they don't spawn near the little tunnels. And you guys will see here right now, here pretty soon, that you will see about four or five squares on my screen. Little red squares. I'm trying to hit these guys. I'm like, why is my Reaper not hitting them? They are all underground. Their entire team is underground. I can't get them out of there. So all of them were sitting in the corner, and I could. I mean, th that those were easy kills, you know. But they're underground. I can't hit any of them, which absolutely sucked. I was highly irritated, but it was okay because I still got my pave low, and and my pave low it picked up a few kills. Pave low is actually really good in this map, um, but I think starting off since the maps just came out, I don't think that the kill streaks will be as effective. Uh, such as like the pave low attack helicopter and stuff like that only because a lot of people are going to be running blind eye and, and assassin I've ran into that's pretty much all I've ran into is blind eye and assassin I might catch an occasional guy using slate of hand or something like that but with how big this map is you really don't need slate of hand because most of the action is going to happen from a long range or at a distance so you really don't need slate of hand to swap or reload faster because I mean the the gun battles are happening at such a far distance that you have time to reload in this map. Um, overall, I do like the map. Um, it's just 
really big and that's the only thing negative that I really have to say about the map is just it it covers too much of an area I think they try to do too much with this map and try to make it too I, I guess Infinity Ward possibly may listen to the community somewhat the majority of the maps we can say on Modern Warfare 3 are relatively small uh, compared to other Call of Duties and things of that nature but Liberation is just humongous I mean it is think it is the biggest map in Call of Duty. Uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm not completely 100% right there. Um, if you guys know if it is the biggest map in COD, uh, please let me know in the comments section. I'd really appreciate it, but I really do think it is the biggest map in Call of Duty. Um, there's just, I mean, it. your best bet for perk-wise in this, in this map would probably be Extreme Conditioning. Now, if you're not a rusher, then I'll, you know don't use extreme conditioning. But if you like getting into the enemy's face and you like you know close action and close quarters uh, gun battles, definitely put on extreme conditioning because without extreme conditioning, it seems like you just cannot maneuver around this map at all. I mean, it's gonna take forever. Definitely use an assault rifle. The only reason why I used a submachine gun in this is because I didn't have a class set up really. I, uh, since and since I was successful in uh, Piazza with my MP7, um, I went ahead and used it in this map. And the thing is, with the MP7, it has pretty good range on it. According to the stats, it doesn't. But I mean, the MP7, you can hit somebody from across the map. It's just with with the way that this map is set up and all the sandbags and and how the color schemes work in this map, it's very difficult to see people. That's the only thing. But this gameplay is wrapping up, you guys. Um, appreciate, uh, like I said again, the love that you guys showed me for the uh, for the rant video. And uh, let me know in the comments section um, if you guys want to see the new maps more often or you guys want to just see gameplays and, and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments section what kind of videos you, uh, you'd rather see. My Road to Gold series is on its way. I'm getting the gameplays for those now for the submachine guns leveling those things up. So hope you enjoyed the video. It's your boy SK. I'm out. Peace.